basement Level vibes With another one Another one Straight up Blackness I ya Aye I who tell the truth Mark Benscop Defend the ghetto youth Mark Benscop Registration is the fruit Mark Benscop Straight up from the root Mark Benscop I who tell the truth Mark Benscop Defend the ghetto youth Mark Benscop Registration is the fruit Mark Benscop Straight up from the root Mark Benz, Benz, I do it for the love, him not do it for no money, straight up, him attack, educating everybody, big up my friends, and big up my family, turn on the radio, catch the vibes, it's integrity, straight up, Benz, cop stands for unity, one people, one nation, one destiny, free up the truth, in the air, even the blind can see, mm. the deaf can hear, the dumb can talk, the crooks can walk, boom, I who tell the truth, Mark Benz, cop, defend the ghetto youth, Mark Benstop, registration is the fruit. Mark Benstop, straight up from the root. Mark Benstop, I who tell the truth. Mark Benstop, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benstop, registration is the fruit. Mark Benstop, straight up from the root. Mark Benstop, we are figured around. Grab a seat and sit down. Pay attention. Education, liberation. We are fist and strong. Benz cop the pond, the radio lively up the program. Everybody call somebody and let them turn and tune and pond the radio and cut the boom song. We boom it up already. We have to boom it up again. Expose and reveal them. I who tell the truth. Mark Benz cop, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benz cop, radio station is the truth. Mark Benz cop, straight up from the the root, Mark Benzcop, I who tell the truth, Mark Benzcop, defend the ghetto youth, Mark Benzcop, registration is the fruit, Mark Benzcop, straight up from the root, Mark Benzcop, Benzcop, I do it for the love, him not do it for no money, straight up, him attack, educating everybody, big up my friends, and big up my family, turn on the radio, catch the vibes, it's integrity, straight up, Benzcop stands for unity, one piece People, one nation, one destiny. Free up the truth in the air, even the blind can see. Mm. The deaf can hear, the dumb can talk, the crooked can walk. Boom. I who tell the truth. Mark Benzcop, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benzcop, registration is the truth. Mark Benzcop, straight up from the root. Mark Benzcop, I who tell the truth. Mark Benzcop, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benzcop, registration is the Hey fans, it's karaoke and oldies night this and every Thursday at Clock Twilight Sideline Dam, Buxton. Dance to the magical songs of yesteryear by popular DJs and Camps Audio. Admission is free. Come out, let's make memories at Clock Twilight Sideline Dam, Buxton North. Hey, guess what? Good night and welcome to Straight Up. And uh, where do we begin? I, I was off on Monday. I was off last night. And I almost I almost uh, took off tonight uh, to celebrate uh, my jealousy 
anniversary. <laughs> it's an internal joke, but good night to all of you. Welcome to Straight Up. Those of you who haven't shared the link, please do share the link. Guess what? We're not going to be dealing with any blockouts tonight because in this basement where I live, as you all know, I live in a tiny basement. Uh, unlike Burke, who lives uh, in a basement smaller than mine, I have the man who took care of blockouts in Guyana. And if I had my way, I would give him an award. I mean, there are times when I say, David Patterson, I don't agree with you. And there are times when I agree with him. But tonight, we've got to give David Patterson and the coalition government kudos for what they did. Good management. That is what happened. Effective management. David Patterson, member of parliament, former minister of um, infrastructure. Is that what? Yeah. Former minister is with us this evening to talk about the blockouts and to talk about the billions of dollars they saved Guyanese. Share the link, guys. As Duncan would say, share the link, guys. All right, Honorable Member of Parliament, David Patterson with us. He's also an executive of the Alliance for Change. But here's what. I want to say thank you to Dr. David Hines for last night and Wayne Caesar. They did a great job. Fantastic. I sat and I watched them underneath my blanket. I was peeping and they did a great job. And they were hoping that I was going to keep coughing and wouldn't be able to make it tonight so that they can, uh, you see, I, I notice um, uh, the Honorable MP is smiling because Dr. <laughs> David Hines, that's right. They were praying that I continue to cough so that they will host my show tonight. Not tonight, not tonight. But before we begin, uh, that young lawyer out in Guyana by the name of uh, Darren Wade is celebrating his birth anniversary tonight. And uh, let us join in wishing Darren Wade a happy birth anniversary. Uh, Mr. Patterson, David Patterson, uh, let me just say for transparency that there are some times we are related and there are some times we are not related. <laughs> oh, good night, sir. How are you? Uh, good night, Mark. Good night. You're looking a bit spliffy. I mean, as I took advice, I didn't wear the tie to show you up, so... I, I, I'm glad that you didn't. Anyone who comes on this show, we've got to advise them. Don't wear a tie next to me, please. I Come on. Yeah. You've got to be the best looking one on the show. And you are tonight. <laughs> there you go. The best. Well, I, you get me blushing. Gosh, gosh. Um, but let me say good night to all of our listeners in and outside of Guyana. And again, thanks to Dr. David Hines for sitting in for me yesterday, last night. And also thanks to Wayne Caesar. They did a great job. Uh, Mr. Patterson, in light of the cost of living, and these things are skyrocketing out in Guyana, hi, 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 like this young lady says, you know, and let's go straight to her, because I need for you please to comment on the cost of living in Guyana. Oh, Jesus Christ, if cost of living double, I don't know what happened. A pound of sugar is $300 already. Flour, everything gone up. Everything just raising. You got to get about $40,000 for buy good ration. You got to get three man now. A weekend man, a monthly man, and a, and a um, fortnight man. Mr. Patterson, I almost had a GPL man, but you... That's a waste of time. Uh, right? that, yeah, yeah, that's a waste of time, you know, because obviously he'll he'll be he left you want he leave you wanting. Um he sh cut 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 you short. But it, but that young lady I mean it may sound jovial and and, and and um funny, but what she's talking there is absolute when you get down to it, it's absolutely truthful in a sense that you know I mean that the cost of living has spiraled um in, in recent years under this government i mean they claim that how they're the, they're the, they are the better political party to manage the economy they're the better um you know what i mean business oriented um firm but obviously the people in guyana can't actually feel it we're struggling you know what i mean with everything everything has gone up and the strangest things i mean the local products things we produce have gone up i mean planting 
you know what I mean, um, all the local fruits, you know what I mean, uh, a slice of pumpkin is a thousand dollars, chicken is short, you know what I mean, in, in, in Georgetown you're paying five hundred dollars for pung, you know I mean in Camarang and those things like that, you know, those places you're paying a thousand dollars a pung. Um, fishing stock has gone down, I mean, we're not catching as much. So we're living what you would call um, Mark Smoke and Mirrors, you know what I mean, it's just like, like, so where, like old magicians. Um, show you know that they do a lot of smoke in the air and they play a lot of music and they flash a lot of bright lights distract you and then but when you really look at it nothing has really changed so, absolutely so it's not a in twilight dubai, zone in, we're in in guyana that is described as little dubai mr well, i mean it, it it started out that way i mean now now i think it's sort of a course you know i mean um little dubai you know what i mean it, there's nothing Dubai ish about Guyana. I mean, we have blockouts, we have uh, car congestions, we, crime is up, um, road accidents. I mean, every single day. I mean, imagine, Mark, the GDF, the Guyana Defense Force, have an annual 30 kilometer walk every year. They walk from the beginning of the highway all the way, I think, up to Kamsaway, or you, you know, Kamsaway on the highway, fully kitted out. GDF uniforms, everything like that, the thing, escort. And a truck comes and knocks three of them down on, on the walk, kills a poor lady. My condolences goes out to her family, um, the sergeant, I think it's Nicholson or her, her, her surname, I can't read all. But that's the, amount, the level of lawlessness. You mean, are you in the States? Imagine that the, the, uh, the National Guard are doing a, a training. And also, and a truck knocks three of them over. I mean, but, and, and it's just like nothing happened. There's no outcry. There's no, nothing at all. I mean, it's quite okay to run down all the armed forces, the, 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 the soldiers, and kill them. Because they say there's progress. These trucks on the road, they equate them to progress. I mean, and, and so, so that's the sort of country we're living in. Nothing really gets done. Five, a brigadier and two colonels, a sergeant, five guys died in a plane crash. Helicopter crash. It's been, what, almost six months? Not a single word. No, not a word. I mean, they, they renamed the highway off for them. Kudos for them. I mean, Heroes Highway, they call it. But the investigation, not a single word on the progress of the investigation. They said they send a black box up to buy you, Mark. I know that the they um, the 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 FAA and the NT FAA, they they would have gone through that black box in days, in in matter of days, and issue a, 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 a report. But it's up, but it's up in the states for months. Nothing, you know. They 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 found cocaine in places in Denmark, Antwerp, and those things like that, said that it came from Guyana. Absolutely nothing. So that lady speaking about what what's living like now in, in this so-called little Dubai is absolutely correct. It's a struggle. It's a, those, it's a... I mean, do, mean, those who feel it knows it. Of course, there's some guys who are getting fabulously rich. Fabulous, rich, you know. I mean, um, um, they, 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 they're making some, some, some serious cheese, um, and and, fla and and have no problem in, in flaunting it, you know. You know, it's all so the old days when you, when you're a thief, you would steal things, but you're ashamed to spend it because everybody can know you're a thief because everybody knows how you, you, you didn't acquire this here um, <laughs> legally, not in Guyana. You know, not in Guyana indeed. If you're now joining us, good night and welcome to Straight Up. I'm Mark Benchop, and it's nice to be back with all of you uh, with us this evening. No stranger, uh, former minister, David Patterson, member of parliament. Uh, we are we're gonna get to we're gonna get to the blockout situation. And I I want you guys to listen to how effective David Patterson as a minister under the coalition government was able to run the Guyana Power and Light. Uh, but let me just say good night to all the folks who are listening to us via the Village Voice News. Uh, don't forget, guys, go and, and read what's on the Village Voice News as well. Uh, Mr. Patterson, 
uh, before we get into the GPL situation, people are frustrated throughout the country. Regardless of their political affiliation, they're frustrated, they're fed up. Uh, let me just bring to the attention of our listeners that this is a gun. Uh, the Guyana Police Force, they just found this gun and they're it's not effective. It doesn't have a trigger. It doesn't have a, it, it has nothing. It looks like a, an old, either um, it's obviously a, a revolver, uh, old 38 or something like that. This is the gun. These are the weapons that Ropes and Ben not so long ago was asking person to just throw over the fence. This person in his or her defense can say that they were just about to do that. But look at look at the type of guns and they're displaying it on on the Guyana Police Force page. I don't know what's going on with this. These yeah, guys. Come on, yeah, yeah. You 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 would have you would have thought that they would have serious things to do. You know, what I mean, they look. Last week, a young man was shot at his workplace. Nothing, and they're finding these guns and those things like that. Nothing shot by a, but one of these private allegedly one of these private security firms absolutely nothing and, and the family the family seeking justice for that young man um and, and, and they're absolutely correct you know i mean they, they there's so many weird and strange things you know i mean that's happening again um i i i'm i'm saddened to to, to say mark that a lot of people we we've sort of in guyana we've sort of become numb you know i mean very few things very few things seem to you, you know I mean upset us we it, the, the the people have made us numb to the crassness the violence the the the, the incompetence that we don't that you I mean I, you might be out there in over in the states or some other part and say well, why are Guyanese up in arms more you know there was a a, a, a taxi driver uh, allegedly Two Venezuelans almost chopped his head off. You know, I'm not a single word. But why, why though, why though, Mr. Patterson? Why aren't Guyanese up in arms? Why? Well, it, 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 it's a hard knock life. It's a grind. You know what I mean? We, we there's a definition. There's an economic definition. We what you call um, working poor. So we are at that stage us Guyanese we work in poor if we mean it, it, it it's like you know I mean if, if you stop working a second to even protest or even do anything like that you're gonna skip a meal you you can't pay your bills and those things like that so we just literally on a treadmill and we're hoping you know I mean that to, to get a break to address these problems but every single day that treadmill gets faster and faster um the bills come you mean the Police harassment, you know, the the the, the police is the police is now a, 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 an extension of the PPP. You know, there's no independence in there. You know, so you stop to protest, you stop to object to something like that 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 that's happening in this country. The police are there. You know, what I mean, you make a post on the first Facebook, cybercrime, sedition. You call a man Jagabat or trench cap, or you you you're in front of court. I mean, come on. I mean, this, this, this is the this is the level we've been here. So Malcolm Harry Paul made a few comments about he doesn't like the um, what the people are doing. We don't like it. He's in front of the court, you know. So, so that is the is the situation we are. We we're on a treadmill. Um, some of us, I mean, I'm fortunate enough to be able to step off and come to speak to you, but somewhere in Guyana, a lady, a mother of four or five children is getting up now to go and work with security guards um she can't have the break she's listening while she's guarding her six children at home on fortune on a home unattended i mean so that's a that, that that's a level of, of, of where we, we're at mark you know i mean it, it, it's frustrating um but that's the reality of of, of it you mean you know, they, they, they're fires fires you mean this year alone, at least eight persons have died in fires. I mean, a headmaster spent all his life educating persons like me, you, Mark, you know, so sometimes we head hard. He helped us get something into our brain so we could read and write him, you know what I mean? And home, alone, retired in the 
twilight of his years, living it out, the fire. He died. By the time um, the, the fire service go, I mean, he's crisp, be burned beyond recognition. Every single day, there is something. Every day, I mean, and, and, and we've just become numb. Some man go home and beat his wife up. No excuse to that, you know what I mean? Murdering our, murdering our women's folks, you know what I mean? Guys, I know that out of there that we're under pressure and those things like that, but you don't take it out. We're supposed to be protectors of our women, folks. You don't take it out on them. But it's a situation where we're in, Mark. Just the frustration, frustration, frustration in the country. It, 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 it's a hard thing to look at your kids and Tremendous. they're hungry. Tremendous frustration in the country. Yeah. If you're now joining, uh, let's welcome all of you. Donna, uh, Francine, Ralph, Audrey, Marlin. Uh, the Honorable Nima Flupes is watching us too. Uh, good night to the folks over at Maka Arcadia. Mm -hmm. All those who are watching us, uh, wherever you are at this point in time. And we did, uh, you did mention earlier this young man, uh, Mr. Patterson, he yes. lost his life on the questionable circumstances. Uh, his name is Jared, Jared Jagnanand. And his Jackson. parents are calling for justice for this young man. He was a supervisor, a brilliant young man, about to go get his uh, college degree and all manner of stuff. And they, after killing him, they described him as a handyman. I don't know. Let's hope that the parents do get justice for the murder of their 18-year-old yes. son. 18-year-old son, you know what I mean? 11 a.m. in the morning. You mean, come on, you can't mistake a young I mean, that he looks physically fit, reasonably tall, young man. 11 a.m. It hasn't rained in Guyana for months. So you can't say it was overcast yet. I mean, and, 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 and these business places, all of them have cameras yet. It's this, three weeks this, now, not a single word. This is so sad. It's, it's a cover up. And we hope that the, uh, exactly. the parents of this young man, the family members of this young man, they do get justice. Uh, Jared Jagnanand, 18 years old. Uh, he was murdered, and uh, somebody needs to answer questions. And um, uh, we're correct, hoping. Correct. Yeah, you know, this it, is so it, sad. It's absolutely correct. Meanwhile, meanwhile, while the country people are going through what they're going through, those who are in power, they're up all over, riding horses and in dresses and whatever else. Uh, I don't know. I Mark, just don't know. Uh, you see. I don't know. Our, our operator see, Mark, this is exactly what I was speaking about just now, Mark. You know what I mean? How, how we've become so numb and uncaring and so forth, you know what I mean? Look what the first thing you mentioned, the lady in the dress. What about a horse? You you see, you mean that, that horse is under pressure. You said nothing about, you know what I mean, the treatment of animals, treatment of people um, below us and those things like that, you know what I mean? And, and that's how we become, we, 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 as a society, we, I mean, look at that poor horse, man. You know what I mean? There's a weight limit even on horses. But you, you've you gone right to the lady's dress. I'm, I mean, I'm, that I'm horse there, you I'm know what I mean? The owner of that horse, when 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 the ride is over, the owner of that horse, they say the horse is not good for anything, you know what I mean? He, yeah. he has to now go and survive. Yeah, I, I must, I must, and you are correct. I was a bit insensitive. My apologies. Uh, I do love animals, and this is no way to treat. To treat an animal. Animal. Yes, exactly. You no know, way. I mean, this is, I mean, that looks like a young foal. No way to treat an animal, but they are ill-treating Guyanese human beings, much less an animal. Poor horse. I, I, somebody said that the horse fell ill, and let's hope that it. Horse gets better quickly. Best wish a speedy recovery. Yeah. You know, I mean, these are, these are things you gotta uh, do. Let's touch. Let's touch, Mr. Patterson. On not so long ago, you were charged with some frivolous uh, stuff of. Um, your yeah, there you go. You were you were exonerated. You won your case. Yeah, yes. So I could At tell the people that no. Talk to us I, about I, that. Talk to so us. So I have no 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 problems with that. You know, I mean, it was uh, night Sunday night, it late in the evening having a few beers with a friend, with an old friend, and no washrooms around. So I went to scrapyard, relieved myself. Um, next thing you know, there's a police at my gate about a week later saying that, oh, you know what I mean, I'm charged for public 
in an indecent indecent exposure um well of course nigel was my lawyer you know what i mean and some days the, 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 the certain cases i think nigel um enjoys more than others this was one um he passed the the virtual complainant who was a guard uh one eye guard i mean i know it had eye problem but he had one eye literally honestly is <laughs> all coming here and then of course the magistrate um his story didn't add up and those and dismiss the case lo and behold you know what i mean the, the director of dpp has appealed it i mean she has no nothing else to do i will assume you know what i mean um the day before a fella got off for murdering allegedly murdering his his um fiance his, his fiance shot him and her alone allegedly and she Bobby. shot to the back of her head our hard-working dpp of all the things decides to appeal my case there's no appeal on that you know so you 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 can imagine the status of, of the of this country but as i say mark um it is what it is wouldn't deter me wouldn't slow me down um wouldn't make me cover they tried their best they've been trying their best i don't mind um, i still keep doing what i think is right mm -hmm. and continue fighting for those who can't fight at the moment until they have they're able strong enough to fight for themselves i'll keep pushing on so thank you mrs hack for the uh, endorsement and thank you for highlighting how um dilig diligently and impartially you conduct your affairs in the dpp's office i do oh appreciate. yes uh, and for some for many people it's done under questionable circumstances indeed you won your case a frivolous charge of urinating allegation that you did that in a scrap iron area it was That's a scrap iron i mean it, yeah but one I mean, don't go there mark <laughs> don't go there at all and decided sorry about that uh, i'm sorry 30 minutes after nine o'clock my name is mark benshaw not sure why the dpp wants to go over the uh alleged we're, evidence we're live mark know. we're live mark so yeah. i i i, I that, okay. don't say I, anything else i i wouldn't at all i wouldn't um nobody knows me to be that type of person i grew up as a jehovah's witness and i want to keep that intact good evening to all who are watching david patterson former uh minister of infrastructure uh, he is with us this evening and also he is a member of parliament we want to touch on the gpl the constant block wow. in guyana but before we do before we do uh talk about this 24 million us dollars this is not the exact type this is not the um the uh what is it the, it, the dual or doer during 228 something something right? from that um, 24 million guyana dollars guyana dollars no man us, uh, US dollars. sorry us talk to us please well look listen to me you mean the, the, this government is like that this government does things like that just buying things that are unbelievably um well i mean any other human being mark if you had um 24 million dollars you would have you you would have spent it wisely you'd have bought 10 of these uh these aircraft with the threat of venezuela with the issues of venezuela with the issues for us to try and set up we have to enhance our internal security they have taken that opportunity because of course everyone supports us opposition every guinea support that we have to be able to at least um, put up some minimum amount of resistance should maduro um, gets even crazier so they take and that and then we lead us right, right on to gpl was with exactly so so they take these opportunities and the good patronage and the goodwill of the people of guyana and the support of the opposition and everything like that, to do this so therefore they said well we need to boost out the, the capabilities of the gdf and Right. And they came and said, oh, you know, trillion dollar, one point four trillion dollar budget. We put in a great amount of money for GDF. Oppositions, patriotic Guyanese says, fair enough. We agree. That's all they need. And they went and they 
purchase things that are not you know what i mean that if you go on youtube right now and you google this doma folks everybody here that's on youtube go on doma 228 out of um in uh, india you will see the price of it is six million dollars us dollars for the fully kitted out one the ones we got there I mean the seats at second hand the whole cockpit looks that well and we paid 28 million dollars so that's what they do that's how they, they did and they use a, a middleman isn't it middleman a sue type middleman who it's, comes with these deals to them and they know the tower well, okay everybody said they must buy planes buys it um no nothing at all i don't even know if we have any guy in these pilots who can fly things like that to me because we progress yeah, modern yeah. avionics you know what i mean if you put back up the picture mark you you right. you see the, when you look at it look at the dashboard there we have modern avionics these days everything is electronic gps's those things like that you mean that is a throwback to the 1950s when they when the pilots used to, have to look out the window 19, to see where, where, where you're gonna land mr patterson even the ordinary man woman out there little child the smallest child out there they can tell you that this is corruption it is fraud it reminds us of the sputnik vaccine where there was a middleman well, well that's even it better so Jack Will, air fun and these guys love middlemen that that's even better you know what i mean and and, and let me tell you the, the the sputnik vaccine this guy it was a chic from one of the middle eastern countries you know landed on him here and the entourage including his entourage was somebody wanted by the interpol but we don't check on that we interpol is uh wanted criminals and so it's have a welcome home in guyana you know and then we just picked up one here at interpol touches down in guyana big announcement he's here to do tourism he's here to do um uh, look at infrastructure um his father or his family are into health care and not health care um agriculture and he's here to see it what he's going to do and leaves three days later with 30 million us dollars contract to supply sputnik covid vaccines and when you do here of course once again we're talking about there's a crisis just like the venezuela crisis we said they said they're going to buy um, um airplanes so covid is is, is ravishing the, the the world everybody's scared so you need covid back you use the crisis to do a, a corrupt on the hand deal you know what i mean to to spend our money when we investigated it people were buying people sputnik vaccines were selling for quarter the price over you know what i mean so every time there is a crisis every time there's an opening and people say oh yeah you gotta do this they use that as an opportunity to make corruption and enrich themselves with some strange corrupt thing and then of course they they they, they um their supporters will say oh is it it is an emergency they do it for your help they'll say with these old airplanes oh we bring we making it to, so you could uh, protect not, you better not, against maduro not, not anymore that's all they do even the pbp supporters are saying no 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 something's not adding up people are punishing in the country let's go to this guy who is speaking an ordinary guy sedunk in his hammock he's sedunk in his hammock and this is what he has to say about the plane hello mr president oh you feel like for biden the model plane the man you see people's buy them thing the them thing is already man transport food and passenger around guyana oh my lord you had a shame bad for buying something like that. Them model thing of buying for India. Oh my lord. Best you been buying four or five Apache helicopters with no we could see weapons strap them out. Them thing that you buy, man. Lord, I ain't got shame in your face, man. Right to say politician don't got shame, don't you? No? Alright, then don't okay. care. Then just do what you know what they feel like. But watch them play and watch how them thing look. Them thing, hmm. Me with design, me long, me see a country with design playing like that since in the, you know, say in the 18 or, or in the 18 something. And the first world war like then, then the plane that went like, man, we see something like that, like. And even to that, the second world war, them playing, playing like, even to that, you know, see that. Oh, my Lord, President. You should have shame me or have shame me as a president for going to stand up there. 
I just like the way you said, hmm. even the ordinary man, woman saying something isn't yeah, right yes. here. Exactly, exactly what I'm, uh, what I was trying to say. You know what I mean? Um, but they don't care. You know what I mean? They don't care. And but you say you're saying Margaret, their supporters are objecting. Yes, the ordinary man. So the private sector commission has said nothing. It's just they're just they're just a, they're just part of a minor minor percentage they are hustlers flatfoot hustlers they're political and economical gangsters they don't count they don't but count the pen, though, let me right. tell you the national security advisor captain jerry govaya captain and i'm not a uh, army captain you know the airplane captain as you would say sat down and uh, and approved this as well huh? And he would get up and lecture people about soft power, good power, good governance, purity. You know what I mean? This. So you can't say, I mean, the, the, it doesn't really make sense to these guys there, you know I mean, um, that sit there and profess to be experts, yet approve a deal like this. You it beats me, boggles me as the man say, oh my Lord. They ain't got shit. Forget about that. It's all about a hustle. Uh, it's all about a hustle. It's all, all about, about a hustle. hustle. Imagine to this day the National Security Advisor. This guy was living right next to his business in Duke no, Street. Mark, there. Mark, stick a pin. Sure. His register, his address was lot ninety three Duke Street, Kingston. You could see there if you see it right at the bottom there on on the screen. Yeah. 93 google 93 cook street kids yeah, it is, you will see Roraima. i did that already i made contact with the national security advisor he indicated to me that that property is not his it's adjacent to his adjacent to his i'm uh, sorry to his business and apparently he basically saying that he has nothing to do that is what the National Security Advisor of Guyana, Jerry Govaya, said to me, he said, no, it is not his property. But even so, this man has been living right next to the National Security Advisor's business. I am almost certain that he entered the business place of uh, Jerry Govaya and nobody knew anything about this guy or were they covering up things? I'm not saying that Jerry was, but the question is, who has been covering up in the PVP? Who has been covering up for this wanted fugitive? But, but, listen to me. I'm, I'm Mark. I'm reading a, 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 a. I know you spoke to Mr. Jerry Govaya here, so I, I'm reading a article here, <clears throat> written by Mr. Jerry Govaya. Right, Roraima is bid for, was the highest for Duke Street House. Right, and, and, and this is when he bought it. And, and, and just, just to stick a pin, he bought it under Jack Deere's presidency. Under Jack Deere's presidency. Under questionable circumstances because the price was way below the market value. And he claimed okay. that he was good. Well, go ahead, continue. So it, it says that he, this is by his hand. I was not, pre I myself not present, nor was part of any discussion with the Board of Privatization during all the proceedings associated with the sale of property situated at lot 93, 7, 93 Duke Street, right? Because he already owns 94, right? He owned 94, and he said his bid was the highest for lot 93 Duke Street, which is the next door to what he has he had 94 is what he had next door is 93. so both of them is there if you google it you know i mean i don't know how we could tell you that it is not his property i spoke with the national security advisor he did say that it is not his property the conversation the conversation with the national security advisor on this took place on march 18th mm -hmm. And Mark, I, uh, he said, "No, it is not. It is next door." I, I find it. Is, I find it. I find it amazing. 
folks said, not sure i will find out folks you all well all i ask in your folks we are we have the internet on on all i'm saying to them and I'm, I'm, I'm asking them do your own research google lot 93 juke street kingston see what comes up lot 93 and 94 juke street kingston are, are listed as um juke part of rhyme estate 94 was the original house the timber house you know that um old nice oh, yeah, ornate that, timber during house, that time private. 93 is is where there's a big conference he made a big conference area during during that time there was a big controversy over that over his acquisition through yep. the yeah through the privatization unit of which his good friend uh mr brassington was head of exactly. that unit and uh, those were sweetheart deals and of course exactly. we all know and, and, uh, and he wrote defending deals. the deals but oh, now yeah, it's no absolutely. longer his own absolutely so uh before we move on and i keep saying before we move on let me say to our listeners as i say hi to them ex including those who are watching via uh village voice as well that i said to mr patterson just 30 minutes you'll be on we'll talk about gpl and that's it you're gone but we haven't yet touched gpl we haven't yeah. yet touched GPL. You, you, you know, it, 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 it's, it, it's one of those bad words, GPL, you know what I mean? Like, you, you, yeah. like, like the people said, if you say it, it can happen. So everybody avoid using the word GPL because block out. Absolutely. So, you, 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 so you, we're giving it a little time so that, you know I mean, at least the, the viewers could see us and, and GPL doesn't yeah. do what they've been yeah. doing all, all since the PP come back and snuff us out, snuff the lights out. Yeah. So, Mr. Patterson, I want to ask you this question with regards to we are hearing that a lot of senior policemen are being questioned by U.S. law enforcement agencies, even upon their arrival in the U.S. Uh, even some, we're told, even some government officials are being pulled aside and questioned. Uh, even some business people are being questioned when they travel. And that may be that maybe that explains why a lot of senior policemen and government officials are not traveling these days. But what is your take on the man responsible for crime? Well, Mr. Caesar being pulled in and questioned by U.S. law enforcement agencies. Uh, I heard it's not once, it's twice. You know what I mean? Look, the, 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 these guys believe that, one, because we found oil, that makes them in control, untouchable. You know I mean, they're... They, they're in the, in the elite. Secondly, they believe that our people are not watching. The international agencies are not watching. So the 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 the, the, the scheming, the the led the, the 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 things that they do here are not um, being recorded elsewhere. You know, I mean, long now, Mark. You know, they they they're, they're being threatened to unseal indictments against several of the government ministers and those things like that. Several persons in the PPP. This all stems. In my opinion, they start the loads of investigations going on. They pull in a permanent secretary for Ministry of Home Affairs. Home Affairs are in charge of the police. Pull her in for questioning. You know, I mean, I don't know what she told them. I don't know if she gave up any names, confirmed any uh, uh, the suspicions that they have, and those things like that. And they are now working. And, and Americans are good at this, you know what I mean? They don't pull your visa until they get what you want from you. So, so, so Mr. Caesar will go in and sport in down Eastern Park. Where are you living, Mark? He will probably be in by you. No, can't do uh, that. Probably can't, in your neck of the woods. He went and sport up and those things. Can't come in my basement. Um, no, no, in your basement. I'm not, I don't, I'm not a you. record, you know. I yeah. don't sell good stuff. <laughs> he he probably went to look for a record. But yeah. they come up, they've been watched, they've been pulled in. And what you'll find now, right? And, and the best way to see who's on suspicion, Mark, let Bench Cup Radio do a giveaway. Giveaway. We're giving away free tickets to come to the States. And you offer all of them, all those senior policemen, you see how many of them tell you they're busy, they can't, they can't come. Because they're all scared now. All scared now. All the and, and evil that men even, do lives after even them. Mr. Patterson, it appears that Jack Deal himself is afraid. Well, well, he doesn't travel. Wonder why? You, you, you look. 
the, the things, the, the, the little things that, that you have to pick up on, the, the, the CIA director en route to Qatar to negotiate the, the um, ceasefire between um, Israel and, and Hamas and those things like that, detoured to Guyana. Look at the photo. Look at who was not there. The man on the picture was not there. You know what I mean? He liked to push himself up and those things like that. You know what I mean? Um, you know I mean, I didn't even think Rupes and Ben was there. CIA comes, you know I mean, if Home Ministry of Home Affairs is not there, you know what I mean? But no, these guys... Rupes and Ben was there, actually. But Rupes and was there, there. well, that, that's yeah. good, you know what I mean? Can't miss that smell, sorry. My bad. Yeah. Yeah, so Jack Dio was, was not there, you know what I mean? When Ali came to the States... When Ali came to the States and he was going to meet Blinken for the first time, I think, or, or the State Department for the first time, suddenly Jack Dio was supposed to be in the list, and I think he was disinvited. And then they had, then they made an announcement that Jack Dio had COVID. That's why he didn't go to the meeting. No, so he had some COVID. Because he, he recovered from COVID in a day. Five times he had COVID? Yes, yes. So, so when when the when the State Department said no, we can't have you here, uh, sir. They announced he had COVID and caught COVID in the states. No, no COVID. Just the people that don't want them around. Don't want him so, around. So you you mean so you'll see them. You 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 will you will see. You know you will have a good look of what's happening. The the the, the everything is closing in on them. The money laundering is back gold smuggling is back um rampant pushing of drugs are back i mean some of the some we, we talking world record drugs you know in we found in denmark the largest single drug bus i mean so we're in the guinness book of world records came from guyana not a single soul not a single soul was ever accountable you know what i mean all they're saying is, is all, all the thing is not a single soul. I mean, the, the human rights, the UN Human Rights Committee has asked the government, why haven't you investigated the allegations of corruption against a gentleman on your um, screen? I know that the, the, you know the the, the um, chair was saying, oh, nobody made a police report. You you, you 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 can imagine that you know what I mean that somebody that you find so so you find drugs in airplane nobody would investigate it there's a crime committed unless somebody makes a full police report that is the only reason why the police gonna look at it you know Come but on, it's you know. but if, but remember, if the, they, they, remember air finale said that he welcomes an investigation. Jack Dale said he wanted an investigation. So what Gail Tishir is talking about is hogwash. There was no investigation because no they were afraid of that. And Mr. Sue is in Guyana enjoying himself. I, I mean, in the, I mean, the sightings of Sue, we, 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 we see Sue more than we see the prime minister. Is there um, a prime minister? Yeah, but that's exactly what I'm telling you. We see wow. Sue more than we see the prime minister. Yet, yet this alleged case a libel case is not he can't find suit to serve him you know what i mean it, it, it it's it's that this is this is what it but back to what we're talking about the the crime chief and so there are people in the un international agencies and of course they like to blame the opposition but the other people outside of this country are looking on at this government they fast run out of friends you know what I mean? They fast run out of, of, of places to hide, you know? Um, and, 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 and the pinchers are closing in on them. And what will they do? They will sit down and um, thief, try to steal as much money as possible within the next 12 months before the elections. So that is what you're seeing now, a stealing of money. So I mean, so I'm, I'm I'm not surprised you. We we we'll look to see how many of them will um, the senior police officers will be traveling. You talking about that? 
they don't have to travel they were going to open sand pits as well you you, you imagine that you mean they're gonna the sitting commissioner and his deputy it, it's not the first. It's, in it's office not the first. pardon it's not the first under the corrupt pvp regime they no, have no, i, I know but but, but 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 it shows you yeah. the crisis imagine the 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 the, the, the um, commissioner of police in new york applying to to uh in new york to go and do uh, diamond mining or some yeah, mining can't, can't have while it. he's a commissioner but remember mm -hmm. former it, it, re, remember a sitting commissioner by the name of silal Pasad. yeah uh, wrote himself wrote a letter to himself yep yeah, and approved i don't know man Can yes he wrote a letter to himself dear mrs silal Pasad, i write to request to um permission, permission to, to to open a gun store and so forth so forth writes back to himself he says dear mm -hmm. mr silal Pasad, i, I approve your application signed silal Pasad. We, hey this is this is i tell you we are a world record country things that you guys is see on saturday night live and laugh at it and those things like that in america you know what i mean thinking it can't happen happens here on a daily basis and we over here we we, we sort of numb to this you know we sort of numb to some I, of the I, strangest I, strangest things happens here in Guyana we and we, have, we, we have, are just numb to it we have got to do better guys we're looking at the time the plane the plane the plane as Bertie Chancellor would say whenever he tells the time the time the time the time I don't know if you remember yeah, that. Look at that, Mark. You know, I mean, those 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 instrumentations look like you know, I mean, like, you know, a mini mock. It's just corruption, man. And before we get to GPL, I get some people. I have some people messaging me to say that uh, you know, in Guyana, they say blackout command back. We are yeah. some lovely people. Blackout yeah. command back. One guy all the way from wherever he is messaged me to say that blackout just command back. <laughs> just come on back. It means lights back on. But before we get to the GPL, Mr. Patterson, let's go back to this uh, this ordinary gentleman, Guyanese, sitting in his hammock, describing this deal. Everybody knows it's a corrupt deal. Corruption, corruption, oil wealth. But yet they rushed to India to borrow 24 million US dollars to purchase two helicopter looking like a beat-up minibus. This is what this gentleman has to say. Hello, Mr. President. Oh, you feel like for Biden, the model plane, the man? You see people buy them things. The them things so already, man. Transport food and passenger around Guyana. Oh, my Lord. Me had a shame bad for buying something like that. Them model thing I'm buying from India. Oh, my Lord. Best you been buy four or five... Apache helicopter with, with no we could see weapons trap them out damn thing that you buy man Lord I ain't got shame in your face man right was a politician don't got shame don't no? or uh, then don't care then you just do what you know what they feel like but watch them play and watch how them thing look them thing hmm. Me with design, me long me see a country with design playing like that since in the you know, say in the eighteen or or in the 18 something and the first world war like then then the plane that went like man we see something like that like and even to that, the second world war them playing playing like even to that, you know see that oh my lord president you should have shame hmm? oh my lord it's just the way hmm. mm. oh, oh my with lord that same scent, with that mm, and that same frustration and oh my lord talk to us generator Hundreds well, of millions well, of dollars to Christmas? Well, so well, well you see... Tell us first about the generator. No, well, you see, this is exactly just like the airplane, like the um, Sputnik drugs, those in there. They've done nothing. They just simply came in, stole the money, didn't even check on the, the existing stock that we left. You know what I mean, when we left between the four years, we have we bought... 63 megawatts of brand new equipment put them all over the country cane field bar take a regina um four big sets down in in, in land of, um garden of eden they sat down they did nothing they sport out the money they spent out they steal out the money and those things like that 
Then August last year, blockouts. And then they claimed climate change, the place too hot, everybody by um, air conditions, the place too hot, Reagan guilt. Create, as I we were talking about, you create an emergency, you create this, just like these, um, the airplane and those things. So they said, oh gosh, we need generators. And they go to Honduras. And I reckon it got to be a scrapyard in Honduras. Somebody, first of all, who told them about these generator sets in Honduras? Because there's no advertising. So somebody come up, tell them I hear, y'all got the place too hot, too many air conditions. I have a solution. 17 container sets came, spray painted them, you know what I mean? They spray paint them nice, so forth, so forth. They must even throw on two logos, you know what I mean? One guy on a logo to make it go on the containers and so. GPL goes over, no technical person, no checks, nothing at all. See, the newly sprayed it outside of the containers in blue and yellow and and and, 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 and so. With these um, these logos of one guy and it says, ah, yes. Another $28 million for these containers. Bring them back to Guyana. Lo and behold, they can't work. They're not working. They came, they, it's um, end this month, going to be six months since they're in Guyana. Can't 17, four working. They turned on, they tried turning on all 17. Of the 17, eight turned on and stayed on. Four turned on and fell up and fell down. And the other nine hasn't, like the grandfather's clock, never go again. Corruption. And you will soon see now, because of this block, this space of blockers all over, you will soon hear within the week, I can guarantee you, Mark, and all your viewers, Ali will get on TV and you say to us that we have approved emergency funding to fix GPL. And they'll do exactly what they did the airplane, exactly what they did with the containers, exactly what they did the Sputnik. They will find some weird solution. Some will be, be hiring a generator out of um, Vietnam or someplace like that, you know. And we're going to ship it down and it will be installed in three weeks and so forth. We're paying 400 million US dollars for it, but it will be good for you guys. And because we are so battered and, and fed up with the, of, of the uh, blockouts, we will say, oh, yeah, yeah. They will, people will write and say, yeah, it's a good idea. But that's what they do. They create these emergencies to thief money. So guarantee you, Mark, and the day after I will come back on the program, sometime this week, before the end of the week, there will be an announcement that they will inject billions of dollars into GPL. And we, and at least I've directed them, no expense shall be paid. The GPL must go and find replacement generators and those things like that. And they're going to do another corrupt deal like that. Guarantee you. And that's, what, that's what's happening now. They, they allow everything to break up blame the AP and UAFC and those things like that, and then try to play nice and shining armors. But what they really did is Alibaba and the Forty Thieves, not nice and shining armors. They just create the problem, say they'll fix it, steal it, steal their money, and then move on. You wait and see, Mark. Nothing, nothing. They, Midas touch. When Midas touch everything, it turned to gold. The PPP are what we call anti-Midas people. Anything they touch is just this city case. Turn down to smelly. Um, what your friend Freddy is call it? Miasmic stuff. That's what the thing is. So they are the the PPP are the miasmic touch people. You know, uh, we're just hearing that three three uh, magistrates have been appointed as um, uh, by the Judicial Service Commission. Uh, they are now commissioners of title to serve in the land court in Essequibo and Burbies. Uh, land court, land is so important that they need they need three commissioners of title, and they have hundreds of people languishing in prisons, and they can't get an early trial because they don't have sufficient judges. But yet, yeah. they, the corrupt PVP regime want to they want to deal with lands. 
but I'll talk about, say, I'll talk about you, the you, Land and Surveys Committee at that agency and the massive level of corruption that's happening there. Oh, go well, ahead. Well, 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 you see, the, the, this is all what, what we're saying back together. You know what I mean? You create these crises. Lands and Surveys. Trevor Ben had that there. You, any normal citizen could have gone and applied this. If there's land available, um, you apply and you go in a queue. As land becomes available, you think what it is now, it's all in the, as you, as you would say, Mark, all in the Benjamins, you know what I mean? Taking back people land and giving it to friends and, and families. You can't even, and, and, and I just saw a, a, a notice which says that you can't even give my father, if he has a piece of land, if he was alive, he wants to hand it down, hand it, you want to hand down your piece of land that you've been working to they're not even allowing you that long you they're taking those things back pure corruption you go up along the, the highway you go up along the highway big massive clearance when you go foreign foreigners right Nobody, there's enough land but you go to the trinidadians and some string all the lands on the highway clearing how did they get them between 2020 and 2024, they've got people waiting, waiting years. Years they have, they for have a, a homestead. They have lots of cases where they're taking away people's land. land and and giving it to them. Yeah, they're literally doing that, taking them. These, and, and, I, and I know that for a fact, Mark. These, these guys, they're guys that go around, look at a piece of land, ask who own it, go back in because they want it. Go back into Lands and Surveys. Lands and Surveys writes you and says, we are taking it back for X, Y, and Z um, thing. Reasons, very frivolous reasons. Two mornings after, bips. The person that what identify a land has Friends and cronies. Friends, family, and cronies. I mean, it, it, the, 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 the level, I mean, we, we, the level of corruption that goes on now as, as you talk about it, you mean you realize how bad we are, you know? They, you mean we 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 have men, the, we have people that are entertainers building schools. We got a man who is a is a is a, 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 a red a social media critic building a pump station, one billion dollars. Uh, you know what I mean? So, and, and, and I keep telling people, you, you, you got to sit down and, and, and wise up. I was in Linden the other day, Mark, uh, but I don't know, a month ago. And I was saying to the Lindeners, they said, oh, they're giving out contracts and all these small contracts, these little weeding contracts and so, you know what I mean? And I asked them, I said, oh, so that makes you feel the people be like you? They said, well, I mean, we're getting a bit to eat. I said to them, well, listen, let me tell you, hear the difference between you and them. They haven't given anybody from Linden a billion dollar contract. Not even Kashif and Shanghai who who sit down and carry them in the house. But because they tell you Lindeners ain't ready for a billion dollars. But they give a man a, a talk show man a billion dollars. And but there are people in, in their center they like we they they just don't. They, they, there's no billion, nobody in billion in Linden ever get region ten a billion dollar contract. Nobody in region five, none of those things. Nobody, none of, nobody in any the the, the um, opposition stronghold get a billion dollar just so, but they can give critic a billion dollar contract. You could hardly. And then they come and give you crumbs right. and tell you that how they, they like you. Yeah, yeah. we gotta wake up right. these things, you know. Right now, right now. Um, that same madman that got a billion dollars plus uh, in he's enjoying himself in Cancun right now with a bunch of men, but I'm not going there. Time, well, yeah, I mean, it's so seven minutes. After. I, I thought he would have gone there for the surgical procedures. Yeah, no, for you know, Cancun, I heard they're I, quite good at snipping I, things. I don't but, mind going to Cancun again, but before we go, uh, there's no need for you to, because I realize that uh, I realize what you were doing there to us um, as it regards to this here. He already read them the riot act. We know how the scampish PVP operates. This is not the, 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 the folks them there. But he already read the top managers 
of, of GPL, the Riot Act. Look, it says here, President Reed Riot Act to power stakeholders in Dar. That is what the ministers say. But I agree with you. They're going to come and they're going to say they need emergency funding because it's another part of corruption. Mark. Before we go, Mr. Patterson. No, 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 no. no. Hold on a second, Mark. We, uh, Mark, Mark, hold right. on a second. Sure. Hold on a stick of pin. Sure. I would like your viewers to see, to have a look at this picture. It is not representative of the leadership of GPL. Very, very deceptive. So you look at this picture, you see um, on, on, on the upper right-hand side, you see three brothers there looking all impensive. And you'll get an, you, you may be on a mistaken belief that these brothers are, 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 are the representative of the day. But you've got to look, you get a picture of, 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 of um, because these are the only three brothers in the room, you know, and Mark Phillips, you know. But the perception is it's a very all inclusive um, one Guyana um, <laughs> management team. If you could show a picture of the wider folks, these three guys, I don't know why they zoomed in on these three guys here. These three guys are Mark Phillip in a room of 30 people. I just wanted to point that out to so you to see, see how they subliminally they, they, they want to think it's very inclusive management of GPL. All the technical staff have been fired. I mentioned the senior technical staff have been fired. And so, and I keep a few guys who are quite good. The, the, the guys here are very, very good. That's why they're probably still there. But the true reflection, though, the true it's not reflection. a true reflection of the management of GPL. It's right here. There you go. Talk to there us about go. the management and the income. There you go. But you, if, if your viewers looked at that picture, right? If your viewers looked at that picture, they may get an impression that it's a very all-inclusive one Guyana sort of um, organization power, power generation. You know, I mean, I know people will, 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 will be upset with me for highlighting it, but Some these, are obvious, these are the obvious things that I do think that sure. I need to highlight. Um, you know, so... Look at all all the top managers, Barat Dindial, replaced. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Aaron Fraser was excellent. You know, I mean, look, you, look. Uh, it, 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 man. Look at look at look at what's going on there, Barat Dindial. Yeah, who 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 was fired by the PPP? Yeah. That, that this is a you Nandalal. They Kish. fired Nandalal in December 2014, five months before we came into government. We went into an internet price waterhouse cooper advertise around the whole Caribbean and the world. We hired uh, uh, Albert Gordon. They came in and who 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 was who did exactly what um we needed done in Jamaica. He he brought back the Jamaica power system left Jamaica in the top job, came and took over, fired him as soon as they came in back and brought back the man that they fired um, in the all. You know what I mean? I, it's... I, we you know, we saw betterment and people were not complaining as much as they are now. It shows that the PBPC just cannot govern the country. It's just... A and, and it's not... Yeah, and nothing is even. Nothing is, no, nothing is even. They... they, they Guy Suko, they brought Sais Narain. Set out he's he he's a thirst with a turn around turn around expert. Turn around expert. Turn around expert, you know what I mean? And we've been pumping billions of dollars. Of it. Now we're done. I hear they're sending him to Brussels. Brussels as the ambassador, but he's as, right. As ambassador. He is Guy right. Suko, Guy Suko can't even produce a, a hit none of the targets. Failure. But what you do, you re reward it, you send it, sending him to it's process. A, a disaster at, G, at the guy Suko, a disaster. He claims okay. that he's a turnaround expert. Yeah, yeah, turnaround. Okay, then yeah. the 630 right, so maybe, turnaround at 630. I just smile. Let us wrap up now. What's your advice, um, Mr. Patterson? on GPL and the way forward? Because you guys had it right. You guys did a well, we, good job we, there, man. What's we, your advice? 
we could start with a change of government. That might be, be my first advice. You know what I mean? We can um, secondly, we could start with second. They could start with a professional board. You know what I mean? The board is is, is um, made up of just persons. Very few of them have an, any technical idea. Very few of them know even to screw in a light bulb. Um, and, and they're there, you know, I mean, they're just there to, to, to make up numbers. We can start by um, the, the, those same guys that are there, that they're fired. You could start bringing them back, the Alberts, the Aarons, and those guys, you know, I mean, um, that, that, that has technical knowledge, song knowledge, you could start there. We can start by, um, they can start by paying these guys better. You know, I mean, the GPL workers complain that they, they don't enjoy the salary rest, salary increases that they used to enjoy because we had to ensure when I was there, when the government pays whatever the government awards to the public sector, you, we would award the same thing or more to GPL. So you had a really happy workforce. You could stop your friends and family from stealing their rice mills and and and, and big supermarkets and big um malls that use electricity free don't pay a bill you cut them off gpl go to cut them off before the man takes out his his his, his um knife to cut the wire he gets a call come down from there how dare you so the con so the company is cast trapped you know what i mean we, we they, there's so many things that that, that, that that needs to be done and needs to be addressed right now they can start by rescinding the contract for the medical people to bring fuel. Imagine that, Mark, a medical supply company, medical, a, a company that brings in aspirins, ibuprofen, plasters, is the, is the main fuel supplier for GPL. When I say that we're not a real place, we're not a real place, you know. Some, these, these are things that you you if you tell your colleague a fellow journalist in uh in america that you know i mean that fifa the the, the, the my people that make viagra so as you know mark um are now operating a nuclear plant they would tell you oh, that's impossible but it's literally what's happening in Guyana. so a company that is registered to bring in pharmaceuticals what i'm talking about not even things i mean uh, they just simply a middle middle company buy buy aspirin and sell it here wholesale they are the company responsible for for bringing in fuel to guyana they're the company that the fuel was spilt in in trinidad and tobago that's the company thing and and that fuel ladies and gentlemen was coming to gpl GPL said GPL said it wasn't they disowned no, it. No, no, they no, say no, nothing no. was connected. But what's not surprising is that everything has gone quiet since right. then. Every GPL day. never set out, wasn't coming to them. GPL said it's not theirs because according to them, when fuel is, is supplied to them, they test it to make sure it's correct. And only after they receive it, it belongs to them. GPL has never set out the fuel with the heading to them. They said, oh, it's not theirs because they never received it, which is a technicality, you know there what I mean? Know. That's right. That's but right. Are you surprised that they're so quiet, just like they're quiet about the black box? Nothing about the black box because they're they are afraid to let the public know what really transpired but, with, the, but, with the helicopter. But, but they're, they're, they're also nexuses in these things, you know what I mean? Because obviously, where they're getting the fuel from, the quality of the fuel, because of course, when you run short and you go and you buy bad fuel, you know, you put um, crap fuel you, you guys would know that everyone knows that um, you put in um fuel a bad quality fuel and your car breaks up your engine that that may be one of that can be one of the causes that happen that's down, why all yeah. these engines are breaking up now because they went and buy some fuel with somebody in the back dam and because they short throw it in breaks up the engine we need a whole investigation of what's really going on but the sad reality, Mark, is while the grass is growing, the heart is starving. So while we're trying to fix it, every single day from now until then, we get blockouts. There's no short-term fix because, I mean, whatever they do, they're just such kleptomaniacs. Even if you willingly give them the money, their nature 
you know you you you, you can remember this the, the, the story with the snake and the frog the snake wants to cross the river um and he can't can't go across the river so he says to the frog can you give me a, 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 a can you help me cross the river the frog says no because it's it says why it's because it's because you're gonna bite me the snake says i swear i will not bite you halfway across and across the frog agrees halfway across the river the snake bites the crab the, the, the frog um, as both of them are sinking, the, the frog turns back and says, so why would you do that, Mr. Snake? Both of us are sinking. The snake says, it's my nature. I can't help myself. That's what I do. It's the PPP's nature to steal. They can't help themselves. So that's exactly what it is. We are suffering as by the result. nature of these thieves. Yeah. I'm glad that our operator actually put up, you, you were talking about the snake and the frog. And for some reason or the other, the operator just put this photograph up here. I don't know for why or what reason, sorry, but the snake and the frog. It's, it's, their, it's their nature. It's their nature. Miss, Mr. Patterson, yeah. I, thank, I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your Mark, service. it's been excellent. I had a, I, I had a good time. Come again. Yeah. And soon as, as soon as you hear that they're coming for additional money to buy new it, no, emergency no, adventures, no, give no. me a buzz. That's not that's not a good bet because we already I'm not betting you and already, this is, this is like night follow the day. Riot act. The fact that he said riot act, I need you guys to fix this thing. Of course money is coming after that. Yes. Come on. Of yes. course money. You and, and and you know and you and you'll see where they they they've got they, they, these sets will not come from America, England they were sitting around in some far off place, far off, strange place. You know what I mean? Gonna come through. And you're gonna want to know how they know about these things. Mr. Money Patterson. got for me, boy. Corn oh, got yeah. for money, sure. money got for me. Corruption, whether it's Qatari hotel, whatever it is, money got for me. Mr. Patterson, thank you so much. We didn't much. even touch on that, buddy. You you, you give away. We, uh, we, we did. 13, 14 acres of, of seafront land for 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 for, for peppercorn money. They didn't even give oh. us, they didn't even offer me you, Mark. They could have offered me you. Let listen to me. Well, well, well your, mayor, your, mayor, your mayor of Georgetown is silent on the matter. There's no press conference since thereafter. The documents just show that Qatari, the land belongs to Georgetown. We need fighting. We need fighting spirit, Mr. Patterson. Fighting Boy. spirit, sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But there's so many battles to fight at one time, you know what yeah. I mean? There's so many, but they're bringing Bangladeshi nurses. They, they, they haven't even made a call. Let me say, they haven't even said to, are there any nurses in diaspora that's willing to come back? No, no. You know what I mean? They haven't even set out Haiti. Caricom. Not even Caricom. No, no, not even Car in Caricom, they're willing to come back. Haiti is a member of Caricom. Haitians. <laughs> no, they don't want Haitians again. No, you they don't mean. Want Nigerians. They don't want Nigerians. They're bringing. And Mark, the, the nurses are here already. Somebody told me just today that they went in to, to get their tin and there was like 40 Bangladeshi nurses. They're collecting their tin number. I wonder if that is, a, I wonder if that is trafficking in person. You don't know. There I you wonder. Know I mean. you, well, thank you. You. You, you, you don't know. You mean, and 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 they, 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 they lied. This, uh, this is my last point because I know I have to go. They that's like that's to that's say I real, I real, that these I real, Bangladeshi nurses are coming for the private health care. You know what I mean? You think all these sheriffs opened um, hospitals and so. But the letter of appointment says it comes to work with the Ministry of Health. So it's coming here to run out in our Ministry of Health. Our nurses, our teachers are fighting, fighting. For a, a working wage, you know what I mean, okay. and, and 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 they're paying them the same, and and they have no shame, but they're paying them the same. They're putting them up, free accommodation. So the, you're giving out. They said they're paying our nurses, them and our nurses, but our nurses got to pay their own mortgage and their rent, and, uh, and 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 transportation and those things like that. They got to find all of that, but they're bringing these nurses, paying them the same, putting them up for free, giving them free transportation, uh, free trips back. You know, come on, this 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 is a 
really, really hard not to like. It's, it's really, really, really sad indeed. Um, I don't know, but don't be a stranger. We'll invite you back very soon. We're not going to wait for that announcement because they're going to want to. It may be because it may be tomorrow, Mark. Yeah, tomorrow. I, I see that you want to uh, return. You will be back very soon. But thank you so much for your time, Mr. Patterson. We appreciate it. Uh, you're most it. welcome. Uh, good night, viewers. Lovely and, to be with and you. The, and before we before we go, though, in the event that there is snap elections this year, we need some more action. Action from the Fully opposition. agree. Action from fully, the fully, fully thank agree. You. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Good night, Mark. Yeah. More action from the opposition, indeed. Uh, hey, I took up a lot of uh, Mr. Patterson's time. I took up a lot of your time as well. But I realized that there's a booker that is celebrating her birth anniversary today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Booker. We can't leave out all these uh, regular viewers of 107.1 FM. We can't leave them, out, leave them out at all. All right. And all the folks who are celebrating your birthday, happy birthday to you. If you're celebrating an anniversary, happy anniversary. If you have lost a loved one, our condolences to you and the entire family. Um, Hey, guess what? I like this. We should make this into a song. I like this. This is a guy talking about not this. Guyana is a strange place. They found this gun, if you could call this. This is scrap iron. Scrap iron. And they're going to charge this individual with scrap iron. When they brought this scrap iron to Guyana, 24, not this one here in the picture, but the uglier looking one. I guess Maduro is so afraid that he probably ran away from Venezuela already. But we're talking about this. I like I like this here. We should turn this into a song, guys. Hello, Mr. President. Oh, you feel like for Biden the model plane, the man. You see people's buy them thing. Then them thing is so already, man. Transport food and passenger around Guyana. Oh my lord. Me had a shame bad for buying something like that. Them model thing of buying for India. Oh my lord. Best you been buy four or five. Apache helicopter is with no we could see weapons trap them out. Damn thing that you buy, man. Lad, I never got shame in your face, man. Right to say politician don't got shame though. No. Alright, then don't okay. care. Then you just do what you know what they feel like, but watch them play and watch how them thing look. Them thing hmm. Me with design me. I don't know what part of Guyana he's from, but uh, that accent. <laughs> Oh, my lad, man. What part of guy here? I think that guy is from. But he is speaking for all. All of us. All of us. It's a shame and a disgrace. Those planes, I don't know. They, they're cardball planes. And that's what they said they borrowed 24 million U.S. dollars for. Y'all know it's corruption, right? Massive corruption because there was a middleman and all of that. And somebody got a hefty drawback out of that, right? Corruption upon corruption upon corruption. But hey, guess what? My name is Mark Benjop. I've got to go. I'll be back tomorrow. Same place, same time. Look what's happening in Guyana. Fire, fire. People just burning things left, right, and center. Oh, gosh. And then uh, you're hearing that Jack Day wants now a commission of inquiry into crimes from 2000, uh, the 2000 crime waves. This is going to open a lot of kind of worms and Jack Dale. They are not going to like it. The PPP, they're not going to like it. So this whole thing here is a bluff. I bet you guys that Jack Dale really don't want a commission of inquiry. They do not want it because they're going to have a lot of questions to answer to their supporters and to the family of Sash Saw and to the family of, um, of Ronald Waddle and scores of other persons. So Jack Dale... He's not prepared for a commission of inquiry. If it's going to be an independent commission of inquiry, then Jack Dale has a lot of things to answer to and for. But he doesn't want. This is just smokescreen. Hey, guess what? I'll be back tomorrow. Same place, same time. Don't forget. Uh, check us out. On, um, what is it? In the morning as well. They have all the shows. They got David Hine shows. Um, they have Kadaki in the morning. And they have Sherrod Duncan. And then on Saturday, you know, Wayne Caesar. And it's over to you, the guy who started. Over to you. All the little kids in Guyana, over to you. Hey, I'm out of here. Can somebody bring my horse? Oops, my horse is sick. My horse is sick. Oh, horse. Who rides a horse with a dress? Hee-haw.
I'm sorry, I'm feeling a little better tonight, right? But I'll be back tomorrow, same place, same time. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Hey fans, it's karaoke and oldies night this and every Thursday at Clock Twilight Sideline Dam, Buxton. Dance to the magical songs of yesteryear by popular DJs and Camps Audio. Admission is free. Come out, let's make memories at Clock Twilight Sideline Dam, Buxton North. Jesus Christ, if cost a live it double, I don't know what happened. A pound of sugar is three hundred dollars already. Flower everything gone up, everything just raising. You gotta get about forty thousand dollars for buy good ration. You gotta get three man now, a weekend man, a monthly man, and a and a um fortnight man.